DJ K Tone the Turf DJ. Sitting here live, man. We're in the live wire studio, man. So you know it's live with my girl Candy Red. What's happening? Hey, all the way down here from H Time. Thank y'all for bringing me. Off top, look. If you don't know about Candy Red, how it go? Just, just give them a quick <laughs> the hook, real quick. All you gotta do, you know, when it come on, that's it right there. How it go? Y'all know what it is. Independent bitches get up on the dance floor and work, baby. It's man. independent in the building. Work, man. That's that, that's how it go, man. We, we, um, you know, we been really happy you came down. Like, you got one of the highest. I ain't saying, look, I ain't saying that just front, though. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you're here. You got one of the highest club records in the city. And, but, but it's been like that for a while, though. We've been playing that probably a year. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so let the people know, man. I mean, let the people know really how you, how you came up with that. I mean, of course, you know, probably you're an independent woman yourself. But what made you even write that? And, you know, what made you even come up with that track record? Right Really just grinding, holding it down for the ladies. I'm a uh, mother, a single mother, to take care of my child on my own. So it was just something that I wanted. Really, I didn't even know it was going to be be that big. I was just, you know, speaking the truth. Other uh, women felt it, and they was like, yeah, Candy okay, man, we need to be too, girl, we need. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I could represent for the ladies in 2010. Ladies taking over, baby. Shout out to Nicki Minaj, and shout out to... Trina, Diamond from that crime mob, everybody out there doing their thing. Rashida, nominated for a BET award this year. We just doing major things in 2010. I'm just glad I could be a part of it. Uh, I was going to get to that later, but since you brought all the names up, we're we going to get straight to it. Like, what, what do you think about the female, the rap scene, the, the females in the rap game right now? I mean, you know, the ladies been kind of slept on for a while. And for a while, Y'all was, it really was It was a void. Right, so what, how do you feel about 2010 and, and, and the whole rap scene for the women? I'm just glad uh, all together that the women is coming, are they coming back? Nobody is really beefing anything like that. Because I can remember, I don't know what year it was, I want to say like 06, when Remy Ma came out with the, uh, I'm conceited, I got a reason. She came out with that record, she had won an award, but there she won it by default because there was no other women in that category who had dropped an album this right. year. Yeah. This year, you know what I'm saying, you got a lot of w women that's putting albums out, so, you know, it's uh, more women to compete with. I'm just glad everybody doing their thing this year. Shout out mm -hmm. to the ladies of that, uh, Denver, Colorado, Kiwi, Miss mm -hmm. Me, Me, a.k.a. So Sick was in the building today, so that's what it is. So who's on your top, I, I won't even say five, who's on your top three females right now, 2010? Top three females. Who you really listen to, like, ain't no... Oh, that's my girl. Who you? Who do you like as an artist? Out of the females, I gotta go with Rashida. Yeah. Rashida. That's one. Rashida from uh, out of Atlanta. She's doing her thing right now. Uh, uh, who else can I go with? I'm still a fan of Lauren Hill. She ain't dropping nothing, putting nothing out in a minute. But I'm a Lauren Hill and a Left Eye fan. But uh, uh, aside of them, Rashida, she really doing her thing. I mean, all of them doing their thing, but I really cut for the women that's uh, doing their thing that don't have to sell sex all the time. You know what I'm saying? When you can just be yourself and just represent for the women and you ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with selling sex, but when you make it your image and that's all you doing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I ain't trying to knock it, but I really respect Rashida because that's not the lane that she took. Right. Yeah. Yeah, before Rashida too, she got some club Yeah, she got some five. Oh, yeah. So, so let us know, let us know, because we really just started hearing about you, you know, about a year ago. Let us know how long you've been rapping, how long you've been doing it. Professional, professionally now since 2006, but I've been writing and recording songs since the third grade. Third grade? Mm-hmm. So, 2006, I mean, let us know how you got your start, because now you, you sign. I got my start in Houston. I'm just, I, I be grinding. I got my start in Houston. I had dropped my first two mixtapes. One was a Hustle Volume 1. And the next one in 2007 was this Nothing. And I would just, you could call me anywhere in Houston and Dallas selling mixtapes at any gas station. I was just out there. I sold mixtapes for a living two years straight. Got a, built a real good buzz in the streets and with the mixtape DJs. And they were just like, well, when you going to drop something? When you dropping something? So I got in the studio, got off the mixtape tracks for a minute, started recording all the original stuff. Came up with that independent, like, towards the end of 2008. Started promoting it in 2009, and it got hot. So so is that how you got your deal? Mm-hmm. That was how I got the deal. Independent? Independent. So let, let the people know what label, what label sure. you came with. I mean, what label you signed to and, and really how it happened, though, like, you telling us that how that happened like did, did they call you or y'all walked that in how that happened? 
No, they uh they came and met with us. We had a couple of offers on the table, but they came and met with us because they had heard of the song in the clubs, of course. They had been seeing me out there grinding, performing at all the clubs, and they just, you know, they gave us an offer. I'm signed to Unauthorized Warner Brother. You know, shout out to Celine. Shout out to my management, T Nitty, OG, Ron C, Jizzle Management. They be holding me down. I love my team. You know what I'm saying? I just appreciate everybody's support. So tell us, tell us a little bit about the Houston scene right now. You know, Houston, when they came out, man, they took things over. So yeah. the, tell, tell us, like, right, right, right now, 2010, how, how's, the, how's the music scene out there? Well, I could say when they took over back in the days because all the artists were sticking together. Everybody blew up, got their deals, everybody started getting segregated again. So it's like in 2010, if we plan on making the strong, powerful movement that we had before, all the artists would have to come together again, and that's in any, any city and state. Right. You know, it's Can you always say that again? Be, it's, always, it's always going to be power and unity. You know, with the artists. Like uh, right now in Houston, a lot of artists are mad because the DJs kind of monopolize which artist is broken, and that's because the DJs stick together. Mm -hmm. You know, and if the artists stuck together like that, they'd be able to make some major moves. You know, and then. With the, uh, it puts us in a bad position because the artists in the past, once they blow up, you know these DJs that help them get on, they don't want to come back and show no love. So you know we can't knock the DJs for feeling the way that they feel. You know just gotta get that grind harder. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that that would be my suggestion. If you know if artists want to make the impact that we seen in the past out of Houston, they just gotta stick together. So you bring up the DJ. So what is your DJ artist relationship? I got. I have a good relationship with all of the DJs out there. I build an individual relationship with all of them. But I mean, you know, artists be wanting to take a shortcut, figure out, you know, how they can just. They don't want to get out there and grind and be in the clubs every night. So when you come to a DJ crew and you like, man, how much I got to pay, and then they take your money and don't play it, you can't fault with them. You know what I'm saying? They don't really know who you are. They, you know, what I'm saying you don't have a relationship with them. I can say, you know, when I first got out there, I didn't really know many DJs, but I just started coming to their gigs, supporting what they doing, you know, show up. I might buy them a drink. And like, when I first started doing it, I, I would show up at the club at 8 o'clock. I'd wait till he get there, help him carry in his equipment, introduce yeah. myself. You know, just really, really build a relationship with them. A lot of artists are walking to the club at 12 o'clock. You know, that's peak hours, right in the middle of his mix. Handing him a CD like you're like a DJ, some type of machine. Like right. you just stick a CD in him and he yeah. supposed to play your shit. Yeah, that you ain't really, working like that. You can make or break <laughs> your career because if he ain't never heard it, he don't know the beats per minute. You throw he throw your shit on at one o'clock, the dance floor part like the Red Sea, then you in a bad position. Right. You know. Tell so, him. Tell him. <laughs> just because he didn't take your your fifty dollars, your twenty five dollars to play it, he may have been doing you a favor. So right. it's really all you know. Teachers on. <laughs> so you saying you mess with the DJs? Yeah, you got you got to mess with the street DJs. You got to <laughs> exactly. You got to the street DJs is what it is. Whether this mixtape or club, you got to mess with the street DJs. Mm -hmm. and, the, and you were saying the song is a year old, and that's why it's still, you know, it still is what it is. Because although it's been in the radio in all the markets and some of the markets, and it came and gone, we built the strong foundation in the streets, mixtapes, the clubs. You know what I'm saying? So. And the DJs, they really support us. A lot of art, like it's a, it's a couple hits that came and gone in Houston, and they was hot, but they didn't have that foundation in the streets. Mm -hmm. So y'all hear that, man? You gotta mess with the DJs, man. You have to. It's not gonna work. It ain't no choice. It's not gonna work. And after, and after you mess with the DJs, you still have to come back through these same people. So you can't just, you know what I'm saying, get to your, the position you think you're in and then be like, well, fuck them niggas, you know what I'm saying, I got what I, got what I need, you know. You so, got to come back to these so same I, people. So you're saying right now on camera, <laughs> after all, when the, when the BT hit the MTV, the VH1, and... And you won't, you nominated next year for the BT because you know next year you're gonna be nominated. Oh yeah, I'm be nominated next right? year. Y'all hearing that right now? For the BT nomination, right? I'll be nominated next year, Candy oh, Reed. Okay, so then when I hit you, say, hey, Candy, uh, I need you. What's happening? I'm falling through. You back? I'm, I'm gonna be back. Y'all hear? Be back. Yeah. That's what's so, up. So that's official, man, right there, man. Candy Red, look, tell them about, tell them about the new mixtape real quick. This is the new mixtape, Cold Red. I know y'all waiting on the album Red Turn here. This is Cold Red right here, 22 tracks, jamming from front to back. Y'all can log on to candyred.com, that's C-A-N-D-I-R-E-W.